Hello and welcome in Vesgo's API portal. We're so excited to have you here. And in this video, I will show you how to install and run our example app and make your first API calls, all of this within just a few seconds. So by now you should have received your client ID and client secret. So please keep in mind that the client secret will be displayed only once in the portal. So you have to store it securely somewhere. And if you didn't do it, please create a new API key or just simply contact us and it will be a pleasure to help you out. So before installing the app, I want to go over an uh, important concept. So from the Vesgo portal users, this is where you can create API keys. And so you can have an API key for development, another one for production. And from those keys, your users through a connect flow will be able to establish connections to all the major cryptocurrency accounts that exist out there. So Binance, Coinbase, Gemini, Metamask, Ledger. And each of those connections will contain data and this data will be synced. So balance, positions, and transactions will get synced on a daily basis, okay? So once the connection is established, that's how you can retrieve all the data. So let's install the app and make our first API connection. So from the documentation that you can find slash docs and slash intro, here you can read a bit more about our security, SOC 2 type 2, we're very proud of our, of our security level. And this is the connect flow. As you can see here, this is everything is customizable. So the demo sandbox, this is the name of your app. And this is where you can add your logo. Okay, And your users will be able to, and all of these providers, you can choose which one you would, you would like to display and which one to hide. This is already done. So we have all, we have our keys. And this is where you can find the example app. So from Vesgo example project, it will redirect you to GitHub. You navigate towards basic, and this is the Vesgo example app. This is already done. Step one, create an account, get your API keys. Step two, let's clone the app and make an API connection. So I like using VS Code, but you can use uh, the, uh, the, the tool that you want. So this is a folder for this video, this example. We run the git uh, clone command, It's and now it's all there. OK, example, let's navigate towards basic. So CD, change directory basic. Now we're in basic. Okay, now we're in basic. Let's go back to the instruction. So go to the example directory, install dependencies, either NPM or Yarn. Let's do Yarn. Again, I won't go into detail here. This is something that you can find a lot of tutorials online. And so that's done. Let's do another clear. Now copy .evm .example to .env, uh, sorry. So let's do a copy. Boom, that's a copy. We rem will have to do like this to keep only .env. And set your API keys in this file. So again, this is just for the example. I have them in a Google Doc, but please do not store them in a Google Doc. That's again, it's just for the example. So dot env this is client id that's the client secret you hit save that's it let's go back to the instruction so step six is done step seven run the widget so we're in basic it's important to be in the in the right folder yarn start that's it. It's done. Vesgo app is running here. And that's, we can start doing things here. So if I go back to the visual, the way that you can connect to users is through his ID or logging name. Okay. So the logging name here. So the one that, let's say, to do the example, let's do mine. So the logging name, this is, you can get all the account that I connected. So all the connectors that are already connected with this user, which is which is mine, and like this uh, this uh, portal user. Uh, after that, what you can do, you can do get account list. Again, this is what we just did. So let's do a connect. Let's connect to a new one. So let's connect to a Bitcoin address. Okay, again, this is the name of the app. So this name comes from here. This name comes from here. And this logo, that's where you can upload your logo. Okay, I'll show you here real quick. 
So you can upload your logo. Let's take an image, you drag and you drop it. And that's it. Again, that's for the example. You, you hit update and oops. Yeah, I was logged out. It's been a while, so let's re-log in. Let's do it again. Again, just for the example. Sorry. Take this logo, got the point, boom, 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 you adjust, update logo, it's updated, that's it, it's done. And that's but that's another key. Okay. So you, you need to do you need to use the right key. So let's go back to the example. Okay, that's how we can adjust the widget. This you can choose which one you, you you would like to display, which one you want to hide. And you can also have you can always go straight to Binance, for example. Okay, so you can bypass the selector. So there's a way to just here, you can create an icon, Binance, for example, and your user would just say connect and they will go straight. They will just bypass the selector over here. Well, let's, for the example, let's go on Bitcoin. Oops, sorry. Bitcoin here. <clears throat> and let's look at what's happening in that, in that wallet. Go here, wallet address, connect account. It will take a few seconds. So now it's going, it's connecting to the account, it's fetching the data, it's coming back and boom, now the account is connected. And this is the account ID, okay? So that's the account ID that you will find, this is the connector, right? So this connection, this is the account ID now that you can store somewhere in your app, okay? So let's say we want a specific information about that account. So we enter the account ID here and get the account. And now, boom, this is everything that we get. So we have here Bitcoin. So, okay, we connected. This is the fiat value. We see how much is in that wallet. So there's close to 16 million in that wallet. And I want to show you something important here. In status detail, you will see transaction. They're syncing. So transaction will take a few minutes to sync. Okay, so please be patient. And eventually, I mean, it's just a few minutes. Uh, maximum, let's say 10 tend to, in very rare cases, like 20 minutes, but usually it's like a minute or two um, for for the, depending on how many transactions we're fetching. And eventually this will be okay and you can just uh, get all the transactions. Okay, so to get the transactions, again, get account ID, get transaction, you'll hit this, you'll get it. You can sync, so let's say something happened, uh, like you just made the position or your user made a position, they can, there's a syncing and you can also disconnect, you can remove the account from there. There you go. So that's the first uh, the first call. Let's do another one real quick with uh, Binance, which is known for being a horrible API to uh, to use. So again, this is very requested from uh, from our clients. So API keys from Binance. Let's do a quick test to see if it works. So API keys, secret keys. Again, this we get it from Binance. So there's a way to create the this API from Binance. Okay, takes a few minutes. Three, two, one. One, two, three. It's it's known to be a bit slower Binance. So again, connect successfully. You can get the the list here, and that's everything. All the wallet that is in. In Binance, so you see here balances, wallets. Okay, so there's uh, the uh, the spot, the funding. Okay, so that's that's for Binance. There you go. So here, if it's uh, so, there's a few things that I can also show you in uh, in the code. So that's it's main GS, and here you can start choosing which provider you would like to uh, to display and which one you, you want to remove, it will sync even faster. So support, that's where you can find support. You can send us an email, uh, ask to join our private Slack channel, and good luck, happy coding, and uh, we can't wait to see what you guys will be building. Cheers, bye.